Hey, what's up, guys? Scalfief here, and welcome to the second inform for Yuli review. Now, guys, five goals, four assists in six games, creating a total of nine goals in his time in my club. 30k for a second inform is pretty nice, to be honest. And as you can see, he's got a decent dribble on his card. He's got decent dribbling and some fairly nice upgrades on his passing. Now, we're gonna get into the stats because I want to talk about a few of these, to be honest. Um, one of them being the ball control and dribble in 1992. He didn't feel that good on the ball to be honest. I did expect a little more after seeing the stats and he just didn't feel that comfortable. Also 91 shot power. His shot to me just didn't seem much uh, very powerful. Just didn't seem to get a kick behind it which is quite disappointing. Strength wise, um, he, he's actually really really good at like, running down the wing. He does hold players off a bit as you'll see in the clips. Which is quite pleasing to me. It's always good to see a defender um, an attacker running down the wing holding people off. Um, just like Hulk. And uh, crossing wise, he's brilliant at, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. Pace wise, he's quick, but not as quick as I was expect, uh, expecting to be honest. I have just reviewed Chamberlain, so that could be why he felt a bit sluggish, but he didn't seem to have like as much of an impact as his first inform did when I first used him. And as I said about the dribbling, he keeps the ball close to him, but like he runs in like these like rigid ways, like he takes like these diagonal steps, which is quite weird and just awkward to talk about. Um, crossing wise, he's got a really, really weird cross, but it always seems to find a head, which is weird. Like that cross there, like went completely over the goalkeeper, and the player headed in from a ridiculous angle. And this is what I mean about holding off. That was, I think, it was holding off Baines, and he even managed to whip it in there for um, a back at post uh, header, which you know is a bit abusive. Um, as I have said before, I don't like to cross, but recently I've started crossing more just to get more clips of these wingers, just because I know a lot of you want to know if they're good at crossing, and he is very good at crossing. That's why he drew a par um, drew a. Uh, comparison to a uh, legend Pires on foothead people comparing to that and in that aspect I kind of agree because they're both a similar pace they both got these crosses that will always find heads and the sh both of them their shooting aren't great although Pires' shooting was a lot better than Fagulis but saying that he did score a few goals with his feet but he actually scored the better goal with his left foot which is weak foot which is probably this one where he coincided with a real work. not the most skillful goal I know but uh, he finished it well non nevertheless but um, as I said about his shooting wise he just didn't seem that powerful to me and I wanted it to like well, I like to cut inside of my wingers and shoot with them, but he just didn't seem to have that like killer shot, like that more powerful shot that was just going to find the back of the net. So uh, that's why I started crossing the morning. I'm sorry if you can hear any crying in the background, baby sister just worked up. But uh, this is one of the goals he did score with his foot. Nice to see him using his feet to score because he just wouldn't shoot with power. And that is the only time he actually shot with some actual venom and it found the back of the net. So uh, yeah, for me he didn't seem that good shooting wise, but if you guys try him out because he's pretty cheap, do let me know how he is for you, but for me he's more of a player that you want to be crossing with. But anyway guys, that is my review for second and fourth figure. If you want me to review someone else this week's team of the week, please let me know in the comments below. Sorry if I sound a bit ill because I feel like crap and it is 4am. Uh, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and adios.